Also, I can't figure out how to turn the video around, so I'm going to just show you around briefly. So basically what's going on with my work right now is a lot of um, medium exploration. Um, when I came into graduate school, I was mostly working in acrylics, um, well, entirely in acrylics, um, and over the summer I have moved into um, a lot of textile-based work. Um, so here you can see a lot of textile works that I made over the summer. Um, so this is an Italian needlepoint technique called Bargello. Um, and the reason I got interested in these was I was working on these paintings. I don't know if you can see them. Oh god. Um, last year and I was curious what other ways might um, because you kind of have to fight with acrylic to make it do something precise like a pattern like that but with the needlepoint it the material and the process lends itself more easily to creating pattern so um, that's what got me interested in working with that medium and so it's been uh, kind of a wormhole that I've gone down over the last few months you can see um, no, you can see a big one that I've started, um, and I'm hoping to incorporate a number of patterns on the same canvas together and maybe making a composition using the patterns not only as like a two-dimensional optical um, element but also as like a sculptural or like creating an object sort of thing out of the pattern and and recently i did a marbling workshop also an effort to um understand a little bit more about pattern and different ways you can make pattern depending on what medium you're working with so that was really really great um so then um over here i'm still um working with acrylic so this is going to be a large uh, acrylic work kind of similar to the pattern ones that i was showing you earlier um but maybe a little more gestural um not quite so precise but um, and then I'm also working with oil. Um, so I traveled to Italy uh, last year and I got fit completely absorbed into um, the art of the Renaissance. Um, so I've been recreating some of the architectural features that show up in the Renaissance paintings, um, but then removing the story um, it creates to me sort of a dystopic, um, experience. I don't know, they feel a little lonely and, um, I don't know. My hope is that they evoke a feeling from the viewer and I don't know. Anyways, um, and then under here I have panels that I'm going to be doing egg tempera with. That's, um... Also something I started exploring with over the summer. Um, here I have my pigments for the, oh my god, for the egg tempera. <laughs> so they're quite fun to play around with. 
I use this molar and then once I clear all of the junk off, you put the pigment with egg, with raw egg on here and you mull. And that gives you a really gorgeous, um, it's kind of similar to acrylic, but it's made out of egg instead. And so it, I don't know, has this stickiness that's really, uh, I find it to be very luxurious. Um, and then up there I have a little bit of flat storage. Uh, those are works that I did last year, so you can kind of see the uh, shift from what I was doing last year to what I'm doing now. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess that's about it. Here's some little textiles that I've been experimenting with. Just doing little patterns. Um, another one, but this is on my wool. I just got in some wool today to do some monochrome pieces, which I'm very excited about. I feel like color, yeah. Anyways, so yeah, those are my materials for the needle point. Um, I'm also going to be starting fresco. Uh, oh god. So there's that, and then there's my lime putty, my buckets of lime putty for doing the plastering. So that'll be exciting. Here's all of the uh, samples of the different lime putty surfaces. So uh, yeah, that'll be my next adventure. Anyways, I suppose that's everything. Um, I guess I'll sign off from London. Thanks so much, and uh, anyways, have a great day. <laughs>